As Democrats face long odds of keeping control of the House in the midterms and lawmakers face increasing pressure from constituents to tackle gas prices, some maintain that producing tangible results is more important than how it's done. Pelosi announcement is likely to disappoint a growing number of Democratic lawmakers. Now, the issue has been an increasingly liability for the Democrats who control the White House and both chambers of Congress, and are also scrambling to find to fend off criticism from Republicans blaming President Biden for the inflationary trend. A couple of weeks ago, some representatives introduced the Gas Rebate Act of 2022, which would actually send $100 monthly checks and around another 100 bucks for each dependent. That's to Americans for the rest of 2022, and any month, the national average gas price is above $4. If the legislation is passed, the full payment will go to single filers with incomes of up to 75 grand and joint filers with incomes up to 150 grand. It would then phase out for filers with higher incomes. There are some states that have already approved tax rebates, everybody, including Idaho, Georgia, and Indiana. In Idaho, the governor signed a bill in February to provide tax rebates for all year residents in the state. Those eligible will either get $75 per taxpayer and each dependent or 12% of the tax amount reported on their 2020 taxes. Under the recently signed House Bill 1302, Georgia residents who filed 2020 and 2021 tax returns will get a one-time tax credit. Under the legislation, everybody, single filers get $250, heads of households get $375, and joint filers get $500. There has been criticism towards the, the bill from Republican lawmakers. So, hopefully President Biden can, th can get things sorted out and send out stimulus checks. If you guys agree, tell me in the comments. There is some huge breaking news. President Biden has announced that his new plan to provide more financial aid to millions of people might come sooner than later. The Biden administration has confirmed that the president will be signing an executive order very soon. States have also announced they will begin sending out larger monthly benefits. So you want to watch until the end of the video to make sure you don't miss out on this. The debt forgiveness will be through executive action. This follows the president asking the Education Department to look into his authority to act unilaterally on student loans. Bloomberg reported today that President Biden is weighing for giving at least $10,000 in student loans per borrower. A source told The Hill that the door has been opened to possibly larger and lots of options are on the table. The president in the 2020 campaign supported for giving at least $10,000 in federal student loans per person, while others in his party, including Chuck Schumer, have pressed for $50,000 per borrower or to cancel debt entirely. Biden earlier this week said he is taking a hard look at forgiving some student debt, adding that he is not considering the $50,000 debt reduction. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki also said that this week the White House is still reviewing whether President Biden can act unilaterally for giving student loan debt. Now, the Majority Whip James Clyburn told The Hill in an interview that he would support President Biden's move on this. I would see that as a good first step, whatever he feels comfortable doing. Now, Clyburn has been an influential and important lawmaker in the president's inner circle. He is pushing for a legislative path for up to $50,000 in student debt forgiveness with prominent progressives in the House and Senate. Now, as part of the CARES Act passed in March 2020, funding was set aside to provide emergency allotments, SNAP benefits to address, to address temporary food needs during the crisis. In January 2021, President Biden directed the U.S. Department of Agriculture to consider allowing larger emergency allotments for the lowest income SNAP households. Now, SNAP is designed to supplement the food budget of low-income families to ensure that they can afford to purchase healthy food and avoid periods of food instability. During the crisis that... So here's some big news. Social Security, SSI, and SSDI, and as well as VA beneficiaries. If you guys have any of those, be sure to keep on watching this video. If you filed your tax on paper this year, you might have to wait several more months to receive your refund check. According to a testimony at the House Committee Subcommittee hearing from the National Advocate, from the National Taxpayer Advocate, refund checks will actually take about six months to arrive for paper filers this year. So the IRS watchdog has been sounding the alarm for months on the pile of paper that the agency has been behind on. In the annual report to Congress at the end of 2021, people said the paper is the IRS kryptonite and the agency is still buried in it. So during the hearing, the IRS watchdog noted that the IRS employees scrutinize paper forms carefully and they have to deal with the 2020 paper backlog first. So the IRS has struggled to deal with additional crisis related duties like administering stimulus checks and advanced child tax credit payments last year, layered on top of chronic underfunding and understaffing. That's led to an unprecedented backlog of unprocessed tax returns. Now Collins has estimated that, as of the end of December, the IRS had a backlog of 6 million unprocessed original individual returns and 2.3 million unprocessed amended returns. 
At this month's hearing, IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick estimated that the agency still had to work through 2.4 million paper returns filed in the calendar year of 2021. Reddick has repeatedly said that the agency needs more funding to carry out all the duties that it's tasked with. So, Treasury officials have announced this week that the agency could be nearing a breaking point. Funding issues and the resulting backlog have implications beyond just a pile of paper. Some taxpayers have been left hanging and waiting on refunds for months. Failures previously told inside that refund check delays have made it harder to, aver- to afford groceries, childcare, and even their home. And even with the 2021 filing season wrapping up, some taxpayers are still waiting on checks from years past. If you're among the estimated 1.5 million taxpayers who never filed a tax return for 2018, the IRS could actually still owe you money. According to a federal law, taxpayers who are owed a refund during any given year must claim it within three years. For 2018, that's this year's, which means the deadline to claim your three-year old refund is the same deadline as for filing your taxes this year. Because you and your team delivered, uh, there are families who gather around a dinner table tonight and it's completely filled. There's no empty chairs. A million people have died. A million people have died, but think of all the lives you helped save. You know, uh, they may not know your name, but you have their gratitude. And that's what public service is all about. It's that, uh, it's, uh, it's that what the President Rank Award is all about. They're about the families in every corner of this country whose lives, all of you, all of you who are behind me on the screen, all of you have touched. Every single one of you. Those families may never know your names, but you have their gratitude. It was my honor to reestablish these awards last year after the previous administration made a decision to cancel them. Because these awards are about more than individual recognition. They're a reminder to all of us, to everyone, of the extraordinary capacity, creativity, diversity, and dedication of our federal workforce. And a reminder, a reminder of why you all, all the work you do matters so much. You know, a couple of weeks before I was sworn in in January 2021, I sent a message uh, to uh, all career civil servants, and I meant it at the time, and I still mean it. I told them that we're a team, one team, one America, and I meant it. <clears throat> Over the last 15 months, you've helped us deliver so much to the American people, helping stand up a wartime efforts to get the country vaccinated, getting checks in the people's pockets of families who needed help literally just to keep food on the table, uh, keep a roof over their heads, helping communities rebuild in the wake of storms and wildfires, and caring for our veterans, cleaning up the pollutant lands and waters, implementing the bipartisan infrastructure law to deliver good paying job opportunities and game changing investments to communities all across America. And so much more. Most of all, you restored the